Hey everyone, we're here on Tolan, and so today I thought we would run a couple of CUH2Fs. We've made a team so that we can enter the solo CUH2F using the Nawa energy cells. That's, oh, is it not going to let me pull up my inventory? Anyway, I'll show it to you when we get inside then. Takes one of these, these Nawa energy cells, which is a Nawa, two Nawa fragments that make a, I forget what it's called. And then that with sweat makes that key. Ah, yes, here's the door over here for us to open. And I think this is just going to be Kothis and Tab Tabs. And so I think we're going to use one of our little uh, 20s here instead of that 35 we had. Oh, and I should eat a skill pill probably. But we're also going to want to throw that on there. Grab our skill pill. Now we can continue. We'll pull up our codexes as well, maybe. So let's see, it's going to be this one. And that one, which is on a repeat already. It's our only one that's on repeat. And we're going to go ahead and throw our pixie armor on. Because it looks like we're taking a fair amount of damage. And that'll give us a chance to find our couple of uh, CUHOF kill missions. And we'll see how we do tracking through those. Well, they still do a little bit of damage through our uh, pixie armor there, so we might have to stop and heal up anyway. We'll see how it goes. There's only like 50-something mobs in here. But this will be good. Hopefully we can get uh, one rank of the codex finished out here. And then hopefully also um, maybe we'll get something good in the chest box at the end. Like all the loot gets grouped into one thing at the end. And so it all comes in at once. Which I think is good and bad. I think that you could have a better chance of getting an item or something that way. But if you're not able to finish, you don't get anything, and that's kind of a downer. Hmm. 
Well, that was a nice little critical against us. Luckily, for the most part, these guys seem to miss us. And we're likely to finish our this CUA to have, uh, I think it's a daily. Yeah, it says daily at the end. You just can't read it because the bar is not like long enough. And I don't think we'll get very far on the codex as far as the tab tabs go. I think there's only 11 in here. And that repeat codex goes pretty slowly. But we should get a fair amount of this Coffice codex since the other 42 mobs in here. Um belong to them and it's about half a percent per kill so reasonable to assume around a 20 percent codex gain on them Let's see what that is. I think it's Dex. Oh, it's AIM. That's kind of a bummer. But it also means we're over halfway through the instance already. Now, I like this instance. It only takes one of those energy cells because it's one per level of the CUA 2F. And it's pretty short. 
definitely straightforward. It's just those two mobs. Like I said, there's uh, 50 something of them, 52 maybe, maybe 53, something like that. Probably takes around 15 minutes to shoot through this with like around a 20, level 20 weapon. LR20, the BC20 like we're using here. We'll probably put the real armor on for the boss. Um, I don't know that we need it in the first one, but better safe than sorry. I always forget, and so we always put it on. Oh, there's our codex rank. I know all sorts of little things, items and whatnot can drop out of the box at the end. Uh, different carpet fragments. I think, I'm assuming anything off of a coffice or a tab tab can drop. Can make its way into that inbox. We've got hides and whatnot before. And we'll make a sl small little inroad into the next codex rank, maybe 10%, but probably not even that far, probably not even 5%, honestly. And I think this is going to be the room where we spawn the boss. Like I said, this first one's here pretty quick. About 15 minutes or so. Uh, the second one probably twice as long. Definitely more mobs. I don't remember how many exactly.
we'll go ahead and put the good armor on just in case. And get out the good gun. Put this guy down as fast as possible and then we'll move on to the second CUF. I think that critical would have really hurt if we didn't have the good armor on there. Because it snapped through the our armor anyway. Th for 30 points. Alright, let's see what's in these treasure boxes now. Box number one, what do you have for us? Muscle oil, shrapnel, so, ooh, submersal tokens, some socket components. Doing all right. We're at about 82 Mercil tokens right now. All right. So about 100, 127. Not bad for a, a CUA 2F1 run. And then we'll just move over and just go straight into the two. Switch back to that LR20 we were using. That one. Because this is going to be Makots and something else, I think. Or maybe just Makots. If so, we should find. Oh, there it is. Oh, this is the one that's Dexterity. We should. If it's just Makots, we'll definitely get that here. And we'll go ahead and pull up their uh, codex. And the Mokots are nice because they're super slow. And so we'll typically do a ton of damage to them before they even get to us. Getting about 0.3% per uh, kill on the codex. Um, so that's going to be a significant amount of, amount of kills before we get a rank up. And so we'll see how our progress goes as we move through this instance on that.
Now there'll be a pretty significant amount of mobs for us to work through. Uh, not like 300 or anything, but that comes later on like the third, and fourth, and fifth ones where they have that and up. I think the third one was 297. Yeah, I think this one's just these Mokots. Which does mean we'll make some progress on this codex, for sure. Maybe even get this rank. But both these instances are super laid back. And as long as you have significant DPS, like the like I said with the twenty or so, they're not too hard to move through at a pretty reasonable rate. Though you are going to want some armor. That's for certain. Or I think the end bosses will be really hard. Well, that's going to conclude our Makat CUHF daily, so we're going to get some dexterity from that. I think it, this is the one that was dexed. Yeah. 40, 40 peck worth, so not a crazy amount, but uh, still not an insignificant amount. I think this room will for sure put us two-thirds of the way through this next codex, so that's kind of a little bit of a bonus. We still have a few rooms to go. We'll see how that ends up panning out. But there's still seven, nine more in here somewhere. Probably seven here and a couple on the back side that haven't are on our radar yet, so to speak.
I knew there was a couple on the back side there. Oh, this is going to be kind of a big room to clear. And so we'll just slowly kind of work through them. Grab your coffee or your favorite beverage. Slowly sip on it. While you just kind of work through these guys. And then hopefully we can get maybe a carpet fragment off of this one. You can also get those novel core fragments if you don't have your uh, two or three yet. There's a, like I said, there's a fair amount of drops that you can get in here. Weapons, armor, etc. Both limited and unlimited. At least on the armor. I don't know about the weapons. I've only got a limited weapon out of here. But we did loot one of the... Like the helmet or something. Out of one of these CUHOFs. Oh, they're starting to thin out a little bit now. Less red dots, anyway.
All right, we're almost out of this room, I think. And then we'll kind of zigzag into this next room. And there's, but there's only like four mobs in each, four here, and then four when we move into the next one, I think. They might go up in maturity a little bit. I think they go up to alphas at some point from these dominants. Uh, yep, here they are, alphas. All right, in we go. Scoot down this hallway and then we'll have to post up on this corner here and we'll just start tanking these guys down on our way through this room. I like how the bonfires kind of light up as you get close to, kind of like they can sense your presence a little bit. But I also don't think we'll actually finish out this uh, rank 20 codex in this particular instance. I will be a little short. We do have one more room. I just don't think it's going to have quite enough to get us there. We'll get in the 80s, maybe even up into the low 90s, but I think 80s is a safer bet for sure. All right, next room.
We'll see, there's like 9 or 10 in here. 9 it looks like. At the moment. But we'll see if there's another one hiding in the back we can't see yet. And I'm thinking there's one more room with just a few in it that will, the boss will spawn. So I think we'll kill these, we'll move through, I think there'll be one last room. We only do this once a month or every few months, so I always forget by the time I'm, you know, back around trying to do it again. All right, last one before we move through, hopefully. Looks that way anyway. Now there's five in here before we spawn the boss.
put on our good armor. Uh, luckily, he's slow like the rest. We got him down to halfway before he even got to us. That's always a bonus. All right, now we get to go open up the treasure door, as I like to call it. Or the gold sun door. Whatever you. Grab this one. Well, that wasn't bad. Eye oil, some tokens, some shrapnel. Oh, see, there's ancient carpet fragments, novel core. Oh, got some mock hot hide there on this last one. That's kind of nice. I believe that has a smidgen of markup. Yeah, just a smidgen, though. Not actually that much. I thought it was better than it is. But these, on the other hand, um... Have always been good. They're used to make that sleigh, I think. And then uh, that'll wrap up our CUHOF 1 run and our CUHOF 2 run. I hope that everyone is having an amazing day. Stay epic.